Hello, brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. This is Sister Mary. I just received a word uh, from the Holy Spirit that I've not even looked up scriptures yet, but I know that it's important to go ahead and put it on. I've been putting, um, you know, I read four chapters of Acts just a few minutes ago or within the last hour and uploaded that. And, you know, the Lord has been telling me that it's very important right now to continue to do what he's told me to do as far as the water and any kind of food that I can put in my pantry. But also he's been giving me uh, the same instruction about packing up as if I'm moving um, to make room in my house. And I'm human just like you are. So I know that I've received words about cataclysmic events coming, but I also know that we know that there's difference between the rapture and the second coming. That's what I've been talking to the Lord about a lot in the past few days because I want to be certain uh, all these warnings about the mark of the beast uh, that he's been given me. And today there was no word about mark of the beast, uh, which means that I have pretty much probably done what I was supposed to do as far as putting the warnings on in the scriptures for those that will be left behind. But as I was reading and putting the uh, books, the chapters that I'm reading in the Bible. So far, it's just John and Acts. And I'm just being led by the Holy Spirit of what books and chapters uh, to be read. But once I start a book, I just know that I'm going to go ahead and read the, the entire chapter. I do know that I'm going to be putting Revelation and Daniel on. But um, after this, I don't know how much of the Bible the Lord would have me continue to put on. And somehow the Holy Spirit was telling me this afternoon as I'm reading not only is there a younger generation that is not going anywhere to church right now, some of them are so young that they don't have a way to church, uh, meaning they don't drive yet, but they will sit and watch their YouTube. And so they are watching different ones for their church. And so it's very important, guys, if you have a YouTube page to be reading the scriptures. But then it's also important that if you have knowledge about um, some facts like sermons almost that you can put on to teach this generation it's very important right now um, you will hear from this word all of this preparing some of it that I've been doing it, and some of the warnings that I've been giving given to give I've done it but the Lord is telling me that, that his coming is so soon his coming is so soon and that uh, horrible things are going to take place after the rapture of the church and so um I know that I said the, the mark of the beast was the final uh, thing for uh, before he comes. But he's telling me today that it is the second coming, that he is going to rapture his children in the air, that we are just to endure, to continue to be faithful, to serve him. But if he's instructed you to do something, there is a reason um, I feel the importance of the water I know I, I do believe, I mean, I've had the vision about this area right here having dust and ash all over it. So um, do I believe there's going to be a great earthquake right here in my area? Yes, because he's telling me right here in this word this afternoon. And then he's telling me that um, some of us have got family members that are going to be left behind. So if you've not been one that the Lord's told to fill up or do anything, maybe all of your family's ready to go. Um, but as far as I in my area, there's people right here in my neighborhood. And then there's also family members that are not quite living the way that they should be. They're, they, okay, they're one, how I always say it, there's, they have one foot in the world and another foot with God. Or I have um, situations where I have children that I know that they are not giving God the amount of time that he needs. They're not ready. If he came right now, their robes are not white and pure as clean. Uh, they're, they're, in other words, they're going to go through some stuff. And he loves them that much to allow them to go through tribulation so that they would be saved eternally, even if it meant death. So that's what we have to understand as the body of Christ. But I'm going to bring you this word very quickly. Uh, today is Monday, August the 7th, 2017, and I received this word at 6.30 p.m. The Holy Spirit says, you may pack as if moving. Those left for the tribulation will have no need for decorative items because I'm in an extra bedroom right here. 
He says, it will be a matter of surviving. Good tidings you'll bring to those in much need of a place to rest their weary heads. Oh, what it will be to sleep in a bed. Because I know that some are going to be... Um, I know that if I have children, that if something happens and they know that I'm not here, they're going to make their way to this house. And they're going to ride it out. So... Um, I also have family members that I've warned that Jesus is coming and they're like, okay, we're ready. Well, I mean, are you ready? Are you ready? We don't know who's ready. We just know that Jesus knows all circumstances and we don't have to keep questioning anything. I'm just being obedient. You have to be obedient. And when he comes, he comes. And if you have family members left behind, it is within an instant that he is coming uh, in the clouds happens and at the same time he comes he's telling me that there's going to be a great shaking of the earth all right so good tidings you'll bring to those in much need of a place to rest their weary heads uh, oh what it will be to sleep in a bed i'm speaking to a few who knew i was coming soon my dear child too many yes even once in the church they sit on the pews and never knew what you've been told they're not sold out as you are. My child, it will be a little while and you'll see me. I am instructing you to do certain things. Many of you are called to prepare for you'll have precious loved ones not going in the air. They're not ready. I love them too much to sentence them now. They'll have to endure and be cast into great tribulation, nation against nation. Man your stations. You're going to see some things come to pass, but no fear, my dear and precious bride. I'll arrive in the nick of time. Continue to prepare, for I am coming in a moment's notice to take all who are truly mine, leaving behind for a short and, yes, much harder time to endure so that they too will come to full repentance. Before death's sentence, so many will take the mark of the beast. I wish it were not so, but thorns have come along and choked out all the light that once shined. Don't lose hope if you're left behind. Be glad in all suffering and pain. You were given more time to come clean of all sin and shame. There is no one to blame but yourself. You foolishly leave uh, my word unread on shelves covered with dust and next to other earthly books. You should, you should have took a look. It says you should take a look. Open my holy book. Read. Instruction is given. Warnings of tribulations and things to come. In the end, we're given. But my children, you don't listen for my voice, leaving me no other choice but to leave you behind. I will be hard. Um, it will be harder than ever to find. We're talking about him, because he says all mine will be taken while earth is so violently shaken. You, you'll you awaken and be shaken to your core because you will know what has happened. But realize for you, for you, you waited one day too late. I continue to say don't wait. You do not realize I'm closer than you think from coming and taking mine any day. Repent and receive my Holy Spirit. Many will continue in their wicked ways even in the most horrifying of days. Mend your ways. Today is surely the day. Soon my bride is taken away. Do not forsake me another day. I do not delay. I do not delay. I could come today. What a precious and wonderful word from the Holy Spirit. And I have learned to listen and I can hear when the Holy Spirit is speaking. It lines up with Scripture if you are not repentant before God, I ask you to repent today and be ready because you don't know. You could be gone in the next moment. But if you continue to love the things of this world more than you love the things of heaven and of, lo of the Lord and of eternal things, you're going to be left behind. To endure uh, Satan's schemes and also if you don't repent, even during that time, uh, the Lord's wrath will be poured out because... In Revelation chapter 15, he reaps the harvest and that's it. It's done. God bless you, brothers and sisters.